Good morning. You are listening to Upreach. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance, character, and character, hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Perseverance is the key to every great accomplishment, because nothing of lasting value can ever be achieved without it. Industrialist Henry Ford is one of the great success stories of American history, but he failed in business five times before he succeeded. A Ford Motor Company employee once asked his boss the secret of success, and Henry Ford replied, When you start a thing, don't quit until you finish it. The path ahead of you is scattered with obstacles. People will oppose you. There will be financial setbacks, time pressures, illnesses, and misfortunes. Some of the biggest obstacles will be inside of you, such as self-doubt, insecurity, procrastination, and worry. You must give yourself permission to succeed. When we persevere through adversity, we win the approval of our Lord Jesus Christ, who told the suffering church at Ephesus, I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and have found them liars. And you have persevered, and have patience, and have labored for my name's sake, and have not become weary. Revelation chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. That, I'm sure, is the same commendation Joseph receives from God when he passes the perseverance test. Perseverance is a refusal to quit. It is falling down 100 times and getting back up 101 times. We need to remember that perseverance is not a matter of forcing doors to open. Rather, it is standing in front of the doors as long as it takes before God chooses to open them. Life is a marathon, not a sprint. The race does not go to the swiftest, but to those who do not give up. We need endurance in order to deal with the stress of adversity. We must maintain a balanced diet, exercise regularly, and get plenty of rest. People give up or give out when they feel depleted, when they physically, emotionally, and spiritually run out of gas. When going through adversity, watch out for pessimists, blamers, and toxic personalities. Beware of people who try to talk you out of your dreams and goals. Spend time with optimists and encouragers. Seek out people of faith. This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. As we experience this holiday season, it is my prayer that you and your family will be safe as you travel, that God will bless you with some wonderful times of fellowship with family and friends, and that God will use you in a personal way to bless the life of another. Then, as this holiday season concludes and life gets back into a familiar routine, please remember that every day is about Jesus. If we at the Church Street Church of Christ can help lead you to know more about Him, not just about His miraculous birth, but also about His life, His teachings, His ministry with people, His cruel death, His burial, his amazing resurrection, and his promise to one day come again to reward those who are faithful to him each day, please call on any of us at the Church Street Church of Christ at 359-3597. You may also check out our website for more information and contact details at www.churchst.org. We are willing to help you in your walk with God at any time, day or night, for there is no other relationship as vital as this one,
because this is the only relationship you will ever have that has eternal consequences. Remember, God loves you, and so do we.